How is everyone doing today? The name is Eon Slayers and we are back for another video. It has definitely been a while since I uploaded a video, a recorded one at least for Vanguard Zero. So please, I'm really sorry. <laughs> you know, I've been scrounging around out for content and I have been uh, having a hard time scheduling for school and such. But as I promised, I will still release content out, you know. Uh, thanks for the support for the last Vanguard uh, Zero G trailer. So that's really doing well. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we I can improve my editing more through that. <laughs> but for now, uh, let's go and check out the new Vanguard Zero Global Clan event, which is Mega Colony. So we finally have the second wave of support available for us. Let's go uh, take a look at all the cards before we do the very hard fight and uh, gotcha pulling. So for Grade Zero. We have here Machining Little B, so Forerunner. Put this unit into your soul to stand one of your rest Machining Rearguards and draw a card. This unit gets 3000 power until end of turn. And from the drop zone, Soul Blast 2 to put this card into your soul. So that combos well with some of our Machining cards, uh, some Grey Trees, that we will take a look uh, later. We have here Machining Caucasus. Caucasus? I butchered that name. <laughs> So regard when this unit boosts a machining and attack it's a vanguard, paralyze one of your opponent's regard. So on hit boost to vanguard, paralyze, I guess that's good, paralyzing the back row, I guess, or if the opponent has a non-intercept front row. When this unit boosts a machining, a vanguard, if all of your opponent's cards are, all of your opponent's units are in rest, soul charge too. So filling up that soul, I guess, for that machining uh, cost, or if there's like soul blast cost, given uh, the opponent's card needs to be at rest and we have here gloom flyman so when placed uh, pl paralyze one of your opponent's grade zero rear guard so paralyzing a grade zero rear guard not that useful to be honest <laughs> unless like the nova grappler grade zero that uh, restands so we have also machining a locust so when placed if all of your opponent's units are in rest you may discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card so a hand filter if all of your opponents are in rest, like a very selective uh, condition for a filter but I guess that could be good if in the future for Legion, filling up that drop zone. And we have machining black soldier front row during your turn if your vanguard is a machining this unit gets 3000 power. So just a 10k attacker, very nice, we finally have uh, 10k and 12k attackers for machinings. Look at the grade 2's, we have machining tarantula. So when this unit attack hits, uh, counter blast 1 to paralyze one of your opponent's rear guard. So it doesn't have to hit vanguard and it's on vanguard and rear guard circle. So that's really nice for common actually. That's really good for common. Our uh, double rare, so rear guard when placed, paralyze one of your opponent's rear guard. So just on place, just paralyze something. Very, very nice. 8k power, but that's okay. And our 12k attacker, machining red soldier. If your vanguard is a machining, get 3k power. For Grade Trees, let's look at our rare, which is Undefeated Mutant, a Vetro Zeus. So, limit break 4. Counter Blast 2 to get 10,000 until the end of turn and paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards. And when placed, retire all, including yours, grade 1 or less rear guards. So, a back row wipe, I guess, including the starter if they leave a starter out. And just again, gain power and paralyze and Counter Blast 2. Decent, like for a budget build or something. And our double rare, which is the Brick Ride on Rival Blade Rogue Cyclomatute. So when rode upon, your vanguard gets 10,000 power and paralyze all of your opponent's units, including the vanguard. So we finally have this paralyzing the vanguard. And at the start of your opponent's next ride pace, your opponent may discard a card from their hand. And if they don't discard, they cannot normal ride. So this combos really well. Um, if they don't re-ride, they won't be able to have their vanguard stand up, but if they do want to re-ride, they have to minus one, so that's really cool. You're minusing the opponent and preventing their units from re-standing, oh, that's really great. And you know, during your turn, if all of your opponent's units are in rest, just gain 3k. Standard break ride stuff. And now looking at our double rares. So we have Machining Warsicle. So when this unit attacks a vanguard, counter blast 2 to paralyze your opponent's vanguard. So another paralyzing the vanguard skill, very cool. And at the side of your opponent's next ride phase, it does the same thing. Your opponent uh, discards a card from their hand if they want to normal ride. 
again forcing them to minus 1 if they want to restand their vanguard. And on Vanguard Circle when placed, Counterblast 1 to call 2 machinings from your Solas Rest. So uh, that combos well with the starter that restands a uh, rested machining, yet yeah, it's a plus 2 on the field as well. And a very important part of his skill, Vanguard Rear Guard Circle, this unit can ignore intercept of Paralyzed Rear Guard. So you can just swing at face with this card on both Rear Guard and Vanguard Circle. So that's an uh, intercept ignore which is just very nice for this deck. And uh, com uh, combining it with this other card, we have Machining Spark Hercules. So once per turn, if all of your opponents are in rest, counterblast 2 to paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards, and this unit gets 10,000 power and plus 1 critical. Imagine that! We finally have crit pressure in Mega Colony. But what if the opponent doesn't rest all of their rear guards trying to play around you? Well, he has a once per turn ability. So blast 1 to rest all of your opponent's rear guards and this unit gets 2000 power. And then you call a machining from your soulless rest. Again you can call like the starter. You can use the starter to restand it as well. And then Vanguard Rear Guard it has the same ability. This unit can ignore intercept of paralyzed rear guards. You can combine this with like uh, the intercept ignores, the common ones. And you can just bash to face 3 times really hard. And this deck is actually really strong if you like know how to play it properly you can make the opponent minus you can really annoy uh, your opponent with this deck so why don't we go ahead and go to the very hard fight and then afterwards we can do some gacha pulling and see my luck so here we are i am using golds i have been using golds for quite a while now in rank i kind of just you know took a liking to it <laughs> So that's actually a really good hand. So we're playing the very hard fight right now. That's actually a really good hand. Let's see here. So you can see plus 2k power. We have our Blaster Blade Liberator. Just ride Josephus. <coughs> we can uh, ride the Great G Searcher. Uh, search out like any other card to break ride with. And we all good, boys. So we really have to be careful as I said this deck is really really annoying at times. Though I rarely uh, face it in rank, I guess not a lot of people uh, want to try the deck out or like it's not popular enough or they haven't built it yet. Let's go ride our great researcher, we just swing, we just swanging. Or alternatively we can call our 12k attacker right here and just swing for 2 damage. Boost of course with this. We want our Laster Blade Liberators in hand. Okay, no trigger for him. Search out first. Shuffle and then search out for Great Re. Let's see here. What do we get? Mm, I think we'll use Garmore. There we go. Bada bing. No triggers. That's very nice. see here we're just gonna probably like make a full board yeah okay at least like there's only one intercept out i can retire that with like blaster blade liberator no problemo if i get a defensive here which i do not uh painful ride our boy bam there we go call a uh, blaster blade liberator up oh, whoa blaster blade liberator yeah, activate this, retire the intercept. That's the stuff, that's the stuff. Counter charge one with Balal and Balan. Sorry. Uh, call out. Let's see here. So we attack the rear guard first, just wipe out the field, you know. Make it less annoying to deal with. Attack with Vanguard first, hope for a trigger. We do get a trigger. We have our Zenith, so we have our finisher if we want to. Another Balan. Pushing them to 4. Crit though. Yeah, I forgot that this deck runs crits. <laughs> and the opponent runs crits. Okay, there we go. Pushing to 4. We're doing well. We have a full board of intercepts. And, okay. Let's call out 2 machining uh, rested rear guards and then use the starter to soul charge. And then we stand 1, draw 1. You know, standard stuff. <laughs> Bam. 
Bam. See here. Oh, you had to heal though. He had to heal though. <laughs> they had to heal though. Oh man. See, okay, we don't uh, get much from that. Okay, we ride this first. Bam. I think we're gonna be fine, maybe. Maybe we're gonna be fine. <laughs> Our blaster blade liberator out. There we go, that's the stuff. Uh, how do we do this? Hmm, let's see. Retire this. You know what? I'm just gonna do a double retire, yeah. Alright. Double retire, bro. I know it's stupid, but like. Might be misplaying here actually. I haven't like I haven't uh played a lot of zero in a while. So like I've been rusty with it. And push them to five. Go. See if we get some draws. A heal though, that's appreciated. We really want some draws. Okay, that's good. We want some draws for our multi-attacker. Oh man, I didn't even have to return that card. I, I got like double trigger. <laughs> Let's see. So what are they gonna do next turn? I mean, I have three damage. I think I'm gonna be fine. Of course, another double intercept. Of course, of course, you had to do that. Of course, you had to. And of course, you had to crit. <laughs> Ow. Okay. We got, our, we got our attackers at least with this. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. We have a PG. There we go, and we're gonna end this with Zenith. <laughs> Bam! Ooh, another Zenith on the field, though. Alright, uh, this. There we go. Call you out. Call you out. And we start swanging. We start swanging. Attack of Vanguard, activate its skill just in case they have a PG or heal. Turn that Zenith, call a Garmore. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, Josephaeus, uh, no triggers though. And that's it. Even if they heal, I can still hit over defensives. Very nice. Okay, so just thank you, Attacker, and we won. So, uh, yeah, I have actually run through this event quite a bit, but I just haven't pulled specifically so that I can record <laughs> this. There you go, that's very nice! So, I have uh, 20 tickets to pull, so let's see my luck. I do really want to build this deck, because this deck seems really, really fun. So, let's start the gotcha. Let's see how well, how lucky I am. So, we have our two waves of support, so this is the wave one, and we have our wave two. So some bandan uh, some glasses. I thought it was some bandanas. So glasses. Let's go first ten. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I am nervous. I don't have a good reputation with clan events. I have a horrible reputation with clan events. Ooh, and we got our triple! We got our triple! That's nice! Let's go! Ooh, look at that. Okay, we have a lot of doubles there. We have our first triple. That's very nice. Can we get more? <laughs> we are getting a lot of the doubles though, which is nice, really good. Because I'm lacking a bit on the double rare material side. So I don't mind getting all the doubles. So the triples, uh, I can probably craft two triples by the end of the event. So hoping again to get lucky. Another double. We're getting a lot of those uh, on place paralyze. Let's see. Nothing. Last pack. Oh, nothing. Okay. Come on. One more, please. Can you give me one more? <laughs> Another one of that. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna get a set of that from this temple, son. Oh. Bam, bam, bam. Another 12 gear attacker. I, again, I don't mind. I'm gonna have like a set of all the double rares. <laughs> I'm gonna lack all the triples, though. So that's really cool. Hey, this is not a bad temple. So we have one of, we have one of you. So we have one of Warsicle. We have a set of the 
Token Attacker has set of this. We have an SP? I didn't even notice this was SP. Look at that. We have an SP over here. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. That wasn't bad. Let's do it again! Ah, uh, nope. Not that. Let's do it again. One more ten. One more ten. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bam. Oh no! No 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 no. Conversion maybe? Come on man. Come on. <laughs> Don't do this. Uh, I hoarded like a couple of days for this man. Uh, I don't need that. Oh, I have too much doubles. Too much doubles. <laughs> Can I get some triple juice here? <laughs> Can you convert for me? Uh, am I lucky enough for a conversion? Maybe. Oh yeah, I forgot about uh, the brake ride. We need the brake ride. <laughs> forgot the brake ride was double wear. Oh no, this is not looking good for us. Heck, I just want the brake ride even then. I just want the brake ride. Come on. <laughs> Do this to me! Oh no! This is such a horrible pen. Oh, another one of you! Oh, worst comes to worst, I'll craft the brake ride. <laughs> that's a lot of materials. Okay, that's our first brake ride. Nah, that's really bad. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, Thank you guys for watching and you know, thank you guys for supporting my previous videos as well. I really appreciate that you like my edits and you know, subscribing as well. We're at currently at 140, so 60 more to get that big uh, 200. So I would really appreciate that if you really like my content, you know, subscribing ain't bad. You know, leave a like, leave a comment of what you thought of the video or what you thought of the clan event in general. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.